So I'm Susanna Wittstem. I work as a senior program advisor in NIF, the Norwegian uh, Olympic and Paralympic Committee and Confederation of Sports. Um, I've been in charge of uh, the programs in NIF for a little bit more than two years. So this is the second partner meeting that I attend with this group. So we have many different partners in, in um, Malawi, Botswana, Zimbabwe and Zambia. Uh, and we have individual meetings with all the partners throughout the year. But once a year we try to gather them together so that we can, first of all, get some common knowledge, uh, give information that we know that everyone will get, but also mostly for networking. So that what we're telling them in the beginning of the meeting is that the breaks are just as important as the things going on in the conference room. Because in the breaks you can share your experiences, you can talk, you can network, you can hear about each other's projects. Uh, and we started this meeting with every organization given a small presentation of what they have done for the last year. So they were only given 10 minutes because we're so many and because we don't have much time. But those 10 minutes can be enough for others to, to be interested and to want to ask more questions. So um, it's for us, of course, to meet all our partners at once, but also for the networking and uh, the feeling that we are one partnership that we're not only individual partners having an agreement with NIF, but that we actually belong in one, one big partnership together. The first one, I was quite new as the program advisor, so I didn't know all the partners that well. So, of course, that meeting was very interesting in terms of, of getting to know what everyone was doing. Now I feel that I know everyone much better, so it's easier to communicate, but at the same time we're getting more into the agreement now. So the first partner meeting, we were just halfway, half a year into the agreement. Now we're almost two years into the agreement and we can see more changes, more results. Uh, we can see more what the, the, the partners have been doing. So it's, it's more interesting in terms of, of trying to focus on results. I think in the beginning you focus a lot on activities and what you're doing, but now we're trying to harvest what do these activities actually lead to. What kind of change can we see? This year we have brought uh, one of the finance officers as well as our auditor. Uh, the reason they are coming is that they want to know the partners, they want to know the project better, to, to get a, a clearer understanding of what it is that we're actually spending money on. So I have been traveling with them, we visited the, the Olympic Committee office, we visited some of our NGOs, we went to Livingstone, we went out in the uh, communities so that they can get an impression of what is it actually that we're doing and what we're working on. And since we have them here, we thought it was a good idea to also at, um, make them have half the day of the partner meeting so that they could talk about finances, about reporting the requirements with everyone at the same time. So that's what they're doing now. <laughs> we're now in year two or five year agreement. So hopefully um, we can see more results in terms of reaching out to more vulnerable groups, especially refugees, uh, girls, children with disabilities, um, and also that we can hopefully um, record more changes from the activities that we do. That's our hope. But um, this agreement is um, until the end of 2027. So we still have a way to go. But, um, but it's good that it's a five-year agreement instead of a three-year agreement that we used to have before because it gives us a longer perspective on, on things and um, yeah.